it's huge for, uh, for the Blue Jays to, to allow the best players in Canada to have some exposure, uh, play on a big league field. So for them to give back and, and allow the opportunity for, for the best talent in Canada to, to play um, and, and really just play against each other. And, and that's kind of how you get better. Like the more, the, the better the competition gets, the, the, the more you see, you know, how the talent can perform. And um, when it's uh, all in one place, you can have scouts there and you get exposure and, and it's just really great for the, for the kids. It's great for the sport. It's great for Canada. Abraham Toro, Montreal, Quebec, Canadian Future Showcase 2013. Well, that's where, where it all started. Uh, this was my first time playing on a big, big league field. I was, uh, I think I was 17 years old, and just getting the chance to get seen in front of the whole country it was a cool experience. And, and for me, that's when I had a college looking at me, I had a Team Canada looking at me, so that was uh, something I'll always remember. Bowen Ayler, Mississauga, Ontario, Canadian Future Showcase 2015, 2016, 2017. I mean, it was something special, being able to play in a major league field, surrounded by some great talent that had come from all over Canada. Um, I mean, I feel like that speaks to how special it is in its own end. Just being able to be a part of that was something that I'll always, uh, I'll always take care of me. Denzel Clark, Pickering, Ontario, Canadian Future Showcase 2016 and 17. The showcase when I was there, I, I knew it was for like the top town in Canada and I knew it was an honor to get invited to it, and when I got invited to it, I, it didn't hit me until I was there, playing in the Rogers Center, where I grew up watching some games, and just playing with that talent level in Canada was really, really awesome. Just living, living the childhood dream, playing at Rogers Center. Mitch Bratt, Newmarket, Ontario, Canadian Showcase, 2018, 2019. I mean, at that point in my career, I was 15 or 16 years old, just playing for just my local team back home, and that was really the biggest point and turning point in my career, where I saw more scouts and being able to throw in the dome. It was just such a cool experience for me. Deson Brown, Oakville, Ontario, Canadian Future Showcase 2017 to 2019. The showcase was really just about getting around guys at the higher level, you know, seeing how they go about their business. I think the biggest thing that I learned is you know, just going through failure. I think that was a big one, you know, not being successful at first, but just learning from it. That showcase was just about learning more about myself and you know what I need to work on moving forward. And at the time, like I said, I was 15 years old. Just being able to see the uh, locker room and seeing how those guys go about their business, I think that was my favorite memory. Edward Julian, Quebec City, Canadian Future Showcase, 2016-2017. I was a younger kid when I was in, uh, in the showcase. Uh, it gave me a platform just to be able to showcase my talent and play in front of college coaches, to play in front of MLB scouts, and, um, and just to be, to be able to compare yourself to the other best player in Canada. So it was for sure a great experience. Owen Casey, Burlington, Ontario, Canadian Future Showcase 2018-2019. The showcase meant like a lot to me because it got exposure for me and I got to kind of see what I was like against other kids across Canada. Damiano Palmagiani, Surrey, British Columbia, Canadian Future Showcase 2017-2018. It helped me realize that once you get to that highest level and you're on that field that it's still the same game uh, just because you're on a professional diamond. you know. The, mound doesn't get any close or anything like that so it really helped me realize that in the future I could be in that position. That was like kind of like the first glimpse I had of you know what could possibly come in the future. I think there's a moment where I just kind of stood back and realized you know where I was and you know what the future could possibly hold and you know we kind of all have had like our separate paths but you know some similarities and one being this uh, this incredible showcase which has really helped us um, you know kind of develop and get that exposure that we needed.